Tadeusz Kosciuszko, hero of the American Revolution. I am Tadeusz Kosciuszko, and at the age of 30 in 1776, I travel from France to America to serve as a volunteer in the Continental Army. I am soon promoted to head engineer and am sent to Pennsylvania. There I read the Declaration of Independence, and so moved am I by it that I seek out Thomas Jefferson, and the two of us become fast friends. And so I spend some seven years helping the Americans win their revolution, using my natural skills as a, as a tactician. But in 1784, I decide to return to Poland. Tactusho go, my friend. You are as pure a son of liberty as I have ever known. Oh, thank you. Farewell, Thomas. And so I return. Oh, my goodness, such oppression. It pains me to see it. I must promote a just constitution. Oh, good. I'm pretty tired of all this toiling. However, back in Russia... A constitution. How bold. Be a dear and overthrow it. Um, with violence? Darling, we are Russians. Of course. And so Tadius and the king defend their people. I pledge my life for my country, for liberty, for equality. Um, actually, I'm just going to surrender. And so it's not until 1794 that I again rally the people. Okay, well, the king isn't with us, the nobility won't support us, and Russia is coming. Grab what you can and we'll do this ourselves. Unfortunately, that Kosciuszko uprising failed. Napoleon called me the King of the North. The French historian Jules Michelet wrote that I was the last knight, and Lord Byron called that sound that crashes in the tyrant's ear, Kosciuszko.